it up. <laughs> oh shit. Get my moonshine ready. Got the moonshine. Oh, yes, ma'am. Word up. Word up. We in this bitch. <laughs> Hold on. Play my background music. It's all back again. Hey. Hold up. What? We back again. Mm-hmm. With the most dangerous podcast in the world, Craig. Hey. And I'm Joe Bridges and Bay Bro. Thirty six, thirty six, thirty six, and we got a very special guest in the house tonight, Anika Wright. It's craziness today, you know what I'm saying? Because it, it gets crazy out here, man. Welcome to Bridges and Bank Roads. How everybody been, bro? How you been, man? Man, I'm on top of the world. I'm feeling good today as you usual. You know, you're not talking to the mic, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Talking as usual. Mic. Here we go. Yeah. I'm up here. I'm yeah. in here. <laughs> I'm yeah. in here. We I already got to see you to the principal's <laughs> office. Exactly, bro. Hey. Not the first five minutes y'all of the show. Y'all know I talk loud anyway, man. I don't even need no mic, it man. No matter about talking loud, niggas about talking into the mic. Clearly, huh? Yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah, they want to be able to know what the fuck you're saying, man. Yeah, shut okay, up. here we go. They want hey, to quote. Hey, shout out to Chassie Blair in the comments. Hey, Uncle, yeah, we up in this bitch. You need to share this so. live. You know how hey, it goes down. Hey, Every so. motherfucking other Saturday, it's sure the Bridges and Bank Rose podcast. So, you know, while we get started here, oh. I want to go ahead and... Um, Dedicate this show to all the mothers out there since we so close to Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all y'all, man. Happy Mother's mother's Day. Day. Man, drop a bomb for that, bro. Yeah, Yeah. happy Mother's Day, man. Especially my beautiful wife. Exactly. All the mothers in the world today, bro. You know what I'm saying? We sending it out to all of them. Come on, man. (laughs) Come on. Joy, what's been up, bro? (laughs) Talk to me, man. I don't even have a drink right now. I don't even have a drink right now. Look, everybody got tall waters. Y'all gonna have to pour together and put make me one. I got moonshine, kid, folks. Yeah, I'm on the water. You know what I'm doing? Water. Every other Saturday, I'm on the moonshine. Look, I left my two bottles of waters in the car, man. And they say a drunk mind speak his mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, stay hydrated. That's, that's the number one key in life. You know I'm, what I'm saying? I'm, look at me. I'm hydrated. I'm good. Do I look dried out? Oh shit! Yeah, you look, like, you look like you put some shit on you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you look put like some shit, shit is on, on your shit. <laughs> Damn, I will make it. Now that's the moonshine talking, it's man. It's good to be back, though. You know what I'm saying? Back. It's good to be here with you guys. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you in and out, my nigga. Hey, man. You know I move. Pause, pause. I move. Yeah, I, I move. Yeah. Is that your definition I, of it? Yeah, I move, man. <laughs> I, I don't moves. stand still. I get, I get in, I get out, I do my thing, man. You'll know I was there. You know, you might not know where I was at, but so you know you're gonna leave there. a trace everywhere, right? You this got motherfucker, it. man. You got trail. it. Man, y'all know I've been in college, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to give everybody, all the fans out there, an update right. on that shit. I still got my 3.0 GPA, bro. Oh, yeah, I know bro. y'all don't believe this shit, nah. bro. Hey. Come on, I need to see records hey. this shit. But this is what I'm saying. We, this uh, term, I got a statistics class and a marketing class, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So they gave a fucked up statistic out there, and I said, mm-hmm. man, I got to bring this shit up on the podcast. Okay. They say that 45% of the population in the U.S. is single. Oh, man. Do that number sound high or low? It sounds forty five percent. Forty five percent of the population in the U.S. is uh, single. Single. So that means more than half is in a relationship. That's not about right. Well, fifty five percent is in a relationship. Yeah, that's right. That's that is right. how I know. I don't know about that. It that... depends on your definition of relationship. Yeah, because some people <laughs> right. think they single. Some people <laughs> right. think they single, but they ain't. Exactly. Yeah. Some niggas could have took the damn test. <laughs> <laughs> the, the survey. The survey. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you want to put on there? So what about the people in two relationships? I guess they count to 55%. Yeah. So it really could be 25% yeah, yeah. of niggas they just in two relationships. Uh-huh. Yeah, they doubled up. Right. That's some wild ass shit, though. I mean, I don't know. It just grabbed me by. When I heard that shit, I said, I got What st- kind of question was that on your uh, No, no, no. Class? It was, it's a st- st- statistics uh, class. Uh-huh. So that was a statistic that they gave. Oh, man. You know what I mean? Y'all gonna, don't make me say the hard word. The moonshine words, kicked in. Now the moonshine kicking in. Bro, that's a fucked up word, though. That's a tongue twister. You know statistics. what I'm saying? Yeah. Statistics? Statistic. It depends on how you talk, bro. My country gamers. I don't think so, my nigga. If you just I take the L, bro. Yeah. I take the L. Yeah, you need, yeah, put the moonshine. <laughs> he, need some milk. On neck. he need some milk. <laughs> my wife stay on my neck, though, because, you know, I used to high side my dad when I was growing up, you know what I'm saying, about the way he talked. Right. And yeah. that's like, that shit on me harder than his. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, niggas say mosquitoes. Nah, it's just one. Y'all know, y'all know what mosquitoes <laughs> is, right? I don't know what. Yeah. yeah, that's a bunch of mosquitoes, nigga. He said like mosquitoes. That's a bunch of mosquitoes, nigga. Yeah, you know, know what mosquitoes is, is bro. Yeah. If you say so. Mosquitoes. Strips. 
Oh, man. Strips. Chicken strips, nigga. Chicken strips. 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 Yeah, so my grandma's kind of fucked up. I just want to go ahead and put it out there. I want the fans to know the real me, man. Like, I'm in college. I ain't no dumbass nigga, but my words don't come out right. Why are you talking about that? I just want to, I hate to interrupt you while you're talking about education, but I've I seen an article on a guy, a coach, you know what I'm saying, out of North Carolina. Mm -hmm. This fool tried to rob the cartel and got killed. Him and his brother, cousin. He tried to rob the cartel. They tried to rob a, a cartel safe house where all the money was stored. Uh, this dude's a coach and an English teacher. And got fucked no, over. Ain't no coming back from that. And got his ass murdered. Where was that at? North Carolina. Man, that's some wild shit. And got murked. North Carolina's out there wilding the fuck out, bro. So yeah. they're going to have a substitute for, for the rest of the school year. Nah, Man, I got some shit on North Carolina, too. They got? said that it was a six-year-old that they put under arrest, man, and they got all the way to a courtroom building. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They say this nigga was walking home from school, got his backpack, stopped and got a flower out of the people's yard. Right, I see The next that. door neighbors. They yeah. took the flower to his mom. They called the laws and said he stole the flower from their yard. And had him in handcuffs. So they arrested wow. the six-year-old, bro, in North Carolina. In handcuffs. Six years old, in handcuffs. Put him in handcuffs, put that boy Went in Went to car. the judge and everything. Went to the jail and the judge. Damn, bro. Finally get to the judge, the judge like, what, what the fuck doing are y'all doing, bro? Like... <laughs> What are y'all wow, doing, bro? Oh, yeah. Just release the kid, you know, send him home yeah. or whatever. The real question is, though, what is that going to do to that child when he my age? Exactly. When he's my son White kid. Age? You didn't already put that nigga in the system. What color kid was that? Come White on. Kid. What that, color that, kid that, was that? that? <laughs> I'm just saying. Come on, kid, <laughs> folks. <laughs> You're giving them too much credit now. So, you know what That's what I'm saying. I'm just, <laughs> you know what killer kid it was. I had to put it out there. Nah, yeah. that was a black kid, bro. So okay. did anybody protest in March? Shit. Ain't no riots going on? That's what we finna start. That's why we the most dangerous podcast in the world. <laughs> that nigga's nah. That's why we finna start. Nah. Nah. We? Unfortunately, I ain't going to North Carolina, so yeah. all my North Carolina niggas that's listening, bro. Man, put some work up. in, bro. What, what, what he just did a lateral right there. Turn this yeah, motherfucker he just did a lateral right there to North Carolina. Take hey, shirt off, I'm throwing deep around. bomb passes. You so know what so I'm saying? they can release the dogs on their ass and spray them with water hoses and shit. Hey, they might come out victorious, my nigga. Take the NFC with you, bro. The NFC. What the NFC? The Not Fucking Around Coalition, bro. Oh, yeah, they out of here. Where they at? Shit. They saw them niggas got fed cases. I think them niggas in the joint in the slammer. Yeah. On they locked up with the kids, so who gonna protest? We, you? I don't know what. The, nah, I'm good. You? Oh, you I move around too much. I got shit to do. You got shit to do. <laughs> I, I gotta I make business time today. I got plays, man. <laughs> I got time today. <laughs> exactly. It, it like. depends on what we gonna be marching for, bro. If we marching for some real shit, niggas mm -hmm. ain't getting the 40 acres and a mule, then Thanks. it ain't worth marching for, bro. Thanks. All when the other shit is peanuts. When they say let's march, I'm like, all right, I'm going to head out. Just like SpongeBob means. All right, I'm going to head I'm out. out. I'm going <laughs> to head out. I see y'all niggas in a minute, bro. <laughs> I got to go. I can't go to jail. I move around too much, bro. I can't, I can't be confined. Exactly. Okay, we got a lady in the house tonight, right? Mm hmm. For shit, so, so we can get two point of views on some shit. Okay. okay. That shit going to be a good little old sauce right there. Okay. Who cheat more, women or men? Mm. Women. Who cheat better? Or more. who cheat more? More. Well, I don't know. If you want to add the B question better, <laughs> then we'll put that one in Women, there, Women, of course. Oh, we'll go around the room. Clark, who you got? Women. I'll answer for him. <laughs> he he God just damn, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga <that> took your <laughs> vote. <laughs> Like, I've been a, a, the elected official to speak for me and Clark. Mm. Nah, nah, I just keep going. I'm on the tell board seat. Come on, Clark. I don't think so. Come, Come on, on the Clark. board tell, seat. Tell us what you think. Uh, I'm going to say, man. Okay. You know I got the statistic for it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all like right. I run off that time? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Come on. Y'all gonna hide something when I fuck it up. Y'all just yeah. like that. Yeah. He kind of said that shit kind of play. It's gonna come this out nigga, right. Got, this nigga been in college for three weeks. <laughs> he got a statistic for <laughs> everything. Come on, man. Come on, bro. <laughs> he can't even say he the word. He been doing homework. He, he can't even say the word, bro. but he got a statistic for everybody. I'm on your side. I see repetition. He can't say the word, but he do it, bro. He can't say the word, but he know what the fuck he got going on. Hey, I don't trust him. When I go to school, I turn my Hat around and button my shirt up, bro. Okay. We're going in. We're okay. going in on some okay, business I got shit. You. I got you then. You know what I say? Women. Women. They so we got better one man and she more. We got oh. one for men and one for women. Yeah. With the lady coming last. What you got? I say men cheat more. Men cheat more because it's a hobby. Women cheat out of spite because we hurt. Right. Nah, she making excuses. Nah. 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 She just got somebody that done been married for 11 years. Yeah, come on, man. But hey, at least on his ass. At least on his fucking ass. No, I'm just, look, I'm, I'm just saying, 
I know you're a woman, so you gotta take up for women because women gonna always no. stick together. But that's not always. It's that's statistic. not taking up for women. It's a statistic, nigga. <laughs> Check the statistics. Okay, well come on, nigga. give us the an answer then. Give us the an answer. Let me know. Because I don't it's believe it. It's men, bro. Sixty Man. to forty. Mm -hmm. Sixty to forty men more than women. It's a hobby. Like sometimes men, like you hear it all the time when they have an excuse, and you be like, "Why you cheat on me?" Oh no, I love you, mm. but I just. Cause it's, it's out of something to do. Well, who do it better? What's this? Oh, we do it better, who do it better? Baby. And see, okay, and I'm glad she said they do it better, right? We because it's true. This is why the statistics is fucked up. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, they, they get caught half they of the shit. Caught. Half of the times that they did this shit, they don't get caught. Women is like we motherfucking ninjas. The only time they like ninjas when they move. The only move. time you gonna catch a woman cheating yeah. if she wants you <laughs> to know. If she wants you to know, it's over there. Yeah. That's it. That's it. If she wants you to know, you will know. Yeah, they like ninjas, bro. They like ninjas. <laughs> like, with everything, not just cheating. Shit. Oh, man. Hey, we all don't cheat. <laughs> For real. No, it's just yeah. a statistic. It's, it's, yeah, it's just a statistic. <laughs> yeah, whatever that shit well, I call it. We're going to have to research that and, and revisit that. You yeah. don't like that where, answer? Where did these, where did yeah, these numbers come from? I don't like that from? answer. I'm not okay. satisfied Where did these numbers answer? come from? During the classes. The, the brew of... Uh, no, <laughs> since it's brew. The brew of... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say brew. He's talking about survey says. He got yeah. that shit out for uh, Wheel of Fortune or some shit. Hey, I'm the one with the 3.0 GPA, bro. Y'all should listen to me. But can't say the word. Y'all should listen to me, We got to deduct five points. I'm glad in your class you got to listen and not talk boy that's, a, that's the good thing that you get to listen 2.5 gpa <laughs> hey, this is the worst thing you can let me do in life is talk bro because right. if i could talk i'm gonna win but you talk for a living so you're good yeah i, I make people get used to the way i talk maybe the way y'all talk is wrong god damn it you never thought about it like that <laughs> my my my, my you, the tables have turned say, nah, this is my <laughs> thing. who are you niggas to tell me how to talk <laughs> hey. bling bling my. wasn't a word but now it exactly is. everything comes from some kind of creation and fruition this nigga went to bling bling he's got all the words in the world I like that nigga he's showing out today he's showing out bro yeah. Yeah. he must have got his progress <laughs> report in the very yeah, yeah he got he's his progress like, report <laughs> and the variance is very combustible you know call me for real yeah this whole world is combustible huh this is smart brand y'all don't like him bro he been yeah he in college for physics. <laughs> this nigga is want some he physics. a professional student. Y'all leave yeah. him alone. Hey, man, speaking of fucking physics, man, who gonna stop that rocket when it popped down this weekend? Y'all didn't, didn't hear about this shit? No, no tell me. Bro, you gotta start turning your TV on. Everything I bring up, you never heard of, bro. The only thing on the news is bad news. He heard it all. He's like, oh, fuck that. He'll tell me later. <laughs> shit. I'll get through the day. <laughs> He'll tell me later. I made it through the day. It was a good day. Fuck no, it. but on some no bullshit, bro. China got a rocket they sent out into the space, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They lost tracking of it and control of it. What? So now it's on a descend down to Earth, what? right? So and they, they said they don't know where it's gonna go pop in at on Earth. But when it hit, it's gonna make a hundred mile radius explosion. You not it might get here. But they, they, this is what they predicted. <laughs> no, this is real shit. We all need to know about it because this could be the last show. This could be the last show. This could be the last show, bro. We gotta go hard. Well, we might as well go hard then. And hey, last time you danced, bro, when we had a world life crisis, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So, I ain't gonna know shit. Yeah, I just don't yeah, do it. He said, you can't trick me twice. Yeah. 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 Why niggas running? <laughs> yeah, that's they said, run. Run. yeah, I'm just gonna run be running. Run. Yeah, fuck it. They said they only gonna have an hour once that bitch break the atmosphere and come in to blow it up. Oh, that's all I need. What? Yeah, that's all I need. I need an hour to get away from it. You can drive miles an hour and Which get away. Which one of you niggas know how to shoot rockets? Shoot rockets? What you talking it's about? It's not about I shooting. It's when he see him run... I'm out. I'm going to run. Yeah. We all but you just got to run 100 miles, bro. Hey, but just think. Uh, we'll make I'm it. fast. We'll, yeah, I'm fast. Send your fuck up. I'm fast. As long as, you, to get the as, as, long as you get in the automobile, anything. Anything that's moving and do 100 miles an hour in any direction, you good. <laughs> you think you watch too much action movies, man. Yeah. This I'm nigga done seen Speed too exactly many times. Fast and Furious the new one. Speed 1 and Speed 2. 100 mile radius. Yeah. Right? Yeah. One hour. No, nah, I'm with you. I got, if I get an hour, I'm good. No matter I'm what out. direction you go in. I got a yeah. good head start. Yeah. Hey, but I'm you good. don't listen to the news, dog. So <laughs> like I said, when I see everybody else running, nigga, <laughs> I'm gone too. You're going to roll over and say, what's going on? Yeah. 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 Why niggas going that way? Uh, it's time right. to go. <laughs> As soon as a nigga see somebody running, nigga gonna take a <laughs> run too. Yeah. So who gave, nigga, who gave these niggas authority to shoot a rocket in the air? Well, you the, can't stop them. They can do that as their country. You know what I'm saying? Like, they get their own self. They yeah, we can shoot a lot with, of rockets. I mean, we got up. shit up there too. We ain't got to check in with NASA. Nah, no, but we ain't lost control of Yeah, NASA's that's just America shit. That ain't uh, nobody else. It ain't international. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's just America. This is America. Get on that shit. That's wild. They didn't see the shit coming up there at the space station? It ain't popped in yet. They can't. Yeah. Nobody knows where it's at. 
America's trying to train. Man, they somebody already know where that motherfucker at. Man, there already some people in uh, space like, yo, yeah, it's right here. Somebody know where this shit at. Somebody up there. They like, I guess I don't watch too many space movies. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I feel like these like, niggas can hop in the... Captain uh, Picard is that thing. Yeah. Sitting in the rockets. Yeah. Like, they can hop in the Death Star and shoot across to that hoe. Hey, what's the black thing on Star Trek? Jordy LaCour. Yeah, Jordy LaCour and shit. Hey, he reading books and shit. He don't give a fuck. Don't trip. We got it. Yeah, exactly, bro. We're okay. Y'all be all right. Hey, just let me handle it. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Rocket or whatever. We'll get but but they, y'all know who Kim Potter is, right? Mm-mm, tell me. Okay, that's the chick that shot the nigga instead of tased him. She said she thought she had a taser. Oh, word, yeah, yeah, she thought she had a taser. Okay, right. gotcha. They used nine thousand dollars of the uh, people's money to build a fence around a house so people don't come damage our house. Y'all down with that or what? They like know. us paying for that. Cause that's shit. my money they use. Exactly. Y'all down with that? No. All I need, nigga, I'm not worried about no damn wall. Hire me a couple of essays, nigga. Yeah. We good. Nigga. Nah, they didn't even put a wall. <laughs> right they they just put a, a fence. fence. A chain link yeah. fence? Yeah. yeah. Nigga, you can see through that whole thing. Nah, I got a question. Yeah. Yeah. You can shoot through it then. <laughs> Brianna Taylor didn't have a fence. Man, I know that's right. No. Where her fence at? Neither did homie when uh, right. old lady went in there, went and in his house and shot him. That's so why I, I say we're the house. most dangerous podcast ever, bro. Man. I'm gonna talk about these topics. Hell, right. I don't got it. Well, I got a fence in the back, not in the front. What? Shit, well, that ain't your house. <laughs> <laughs> so what's it your house in the picture, then? Well, ain't ain't nobody worried about you. Though. You've been in the back. You've been virtually eliminated. Oh, man. Man. The virtual eliminated. <laughs> hey, I need my grant to give me a fence out front or at least some bricks. Hey, talk to them, man. But who trying? Who's gonna come through that fence? I'm, I'm just saying. Keep danger out. <laughs> Keep danger out. <laughs> and safety in. You know, you get da- what if danger's on the inside? Shut up, fool. Well, I just go in the backyard. <laughs> I got a fence in the back. I mean, you never know with kids these days. They can just pull a rifle on you. I got an eight foot fence away. in the back. I'm saying. So, <laughs> I'm telling you, this is a new generation of kids, bro. Auto. This is a new generation of kids. Y'all Facts. think I'm bullshitting. Facts. They been playing Grand Theft Auto. I ain't scared of no kids. Then they went straight to Fortnite where you get the respawn after you die. Yeah. And they think yeah, that's this, really this, how life works, life, bro. Though. Ain't no respawn. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, ain't no I, coming back. I ain't scared of no kids doing no harm to me. They like to do a duo. China? A maybe. duo. China yeah, Rocket. China, Fuck yeah. China. <laughs> the Rocket. <laughs> China <laughs> for other shit. Yeah, China chilling. It's Niggas the Rocket. shooting missiles the and shit, man. The Rocket is not discriminating. Hey, China doing all kind of crazy shit, bro. Hey, but if that shit hit American soul, it's going to start a war, bro. But I'm cool with China, though. I'm still cool with them. China? A lot, of, a lot of products come from over there. <laughs> products? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you want to speak in detail about this, bro? Cor- corona. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> corona products. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Corona wave grease. I got my iPhone, nigga. I'm good. <laughs> the nigga. vaccine, you put it in wave grease yeah. and shit. Man, you know I don't got no iPhone, man. I, I got an Android, bro. Yeah, my best. Ain't nothing wrong with Android, man. <laughs> no, man. We got oh, one. I don't I trust one. that iPhone okay. shit. Ain't oh, no wrong with Android, like my phone telling me what You don't thing. trust Android, but you, I mean, you don't trust iPhone, but you trust Android. Yeah, because yeah. I know Android. I, I fucks with that. I, I'm <laughs> like, you you make it seem like iPhone just the only one's got a tracker. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no. These niggas Not don't like want that. them. Oh, yeah, we're going to get no, them with I'm these niggas. I'm not saying it because of a tracker. I'm just saying I can fuck with an Android. Oh, no, iPhone, no, no, no. I just it's don't. It's more user friendly. Okay, right. No. iPhone, you got to jump here, jump there. Oh, no, no. But when you learn how to maneuver, it actually make life hella easy, bro. And you got to pay for too much stuff, though. I don't need nothing. I don't need but nothing. Nah, <laughs> shit, I don't need nothing. I don't need nothing. <laughs> I don't need nothing. Put <laughs> 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 that shit on the back of my t-shirt. Not nothing. Nothing. Hey, I don't, I don't need, need nothing, nothing, nigga. But imagine nah, you know how need hard something, nigga. <laughs> yeah. to teach your grandma how to use a phone on an iPhone versus right. an Android. Right. That's the difference. I was right. started with Android. Okay. I was started with Android. But my grandma bossed up on me and came back and said, oh, thank you for teaching me how to use that phone. I got me an iPhone. Oh, shit. Oh, man. She up there doing it now. Okay, grandma. Yeah. I'm ready to yeah. catch my iPhone in, though. Yeah, see, what I'm talking about? Yeah. see what I'm talking about? See, I don't know if when you was watching the show, you got a chance to see the what color was that motherfucking segment. But that's what we about to hop into. Okay, it's a game, right? Okay. I'm going to give y'all, I got today, three let, stories. Let, let and I'm going to add the bonus story. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to add one bonus story today. Whoever scored the most, get the most of them right, is the winner. Okay. Well, we win. So I'm going to give you the story. I got you chocolate. tell me what race was these people. At least I got okay. chocolate. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to go I around the room. You know what I'm saying? We're going to see who's going to win this thing. Clap. Okay. <laughs> okay. Woman storms in Pizza Hut, opens up her box of pizza, turns that pie into a saw rifle. What? By throwing it into an employee's face and then calls police. Who called the police? The, the, the lady. The that employee threw the pizza. later. The lady oh, that threw... she, does, she the one that assaulted. She going to jail. It's not what did she do. What color is that motherfucker? White. We got yeah, one white. White, white people. She white. Three whites? Yeah. I made it easy, the first one. 
Just to think y'all make y'all think shit sweet. Nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> because everybody got an answer. Everybody got the answer right. The lady was white. Only was a white person could think the they're right. gonna get away with right. that. I'm gonna carry a nine. I'm not gonna carry no rifle. No, she threw the pizza like a rifle. Oh, she th- oh yeah, she oh. used she the she made the pizza with. turn oh. into a sour well, rifle. I'm just oh. saying, I would think that only a white person could think they can get away with that. And then call the laws. And then you call the laws. That's what yeah. I got me. Right. After that's when you said she threw the pizza and then caught the laws, I was like, oh, she yeah, right. Only white people call mm-hmm. the laws anyway. White After folks, come get this bag. You made that one easy. I gotta give y'all an easy one. That way Black y'all people don't call the laws. They would have been boxed. They would have so been pepperoni everywhere. It always fucks you up for the next place. Okay. Couple goes to Las Vegas for their big day to get married. The Black. groom to be in. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Go to Vegas. Go to Vegas. She <laughs> like your black hair. <laughs> she said she like you. Yeah. <laughs> she put the black shit on her face. <laughs> That's it. That's all we need. She said go to you know Vegas. Black. Cheap. And we can get it to know yeah. cheap. Right. Let's go. Let's go to Vegas. Y'all want to hear the rest or what? Black. black. Yeah. I, come on. Come on with the rest. Okay. I might change my Couple hope. goes to Las Vegas for the big day to get married. The groom to be ends up catching a rape case one day before the wedding for raping the rice best friend. Oh, man. That, <laughs> that makes it hard. What <laughs> color <laughs> is that motherfucker? That, <laughs> that, that little Who twist at the end yeah. kind of fucked me up. White? Too much Hennessy. Too much Hennessy. Too much Hennessy. Oh, man. I, I, I'm sorry. I got to stay with black, but I... Uh, black, black, white? Yeah. Everybody's wrong. Mexican. I was going to say Mexican. Yeah, yeah. 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 See, you made that one kind of hard. Yeah. That, that yeah. rape that at the end like... kind of twisted me. That Viva la Mexico! Uh, Come pick your bag up. Okay, y'all, y'all getting into it now? Right. Okay, I got you. It's getting a little harder right. now, right? Hey, I'm, I'll be, I'm 500 right now. Come on. Okay. A four-year-old orders 2.6K worth of SpongeBob popsicles. No, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Who the, you like your white in, bro? We yeah. can stop it early, bro. You like your white in? Hey, who the fuck got two thousand? What'd you say, two six million or whatever? You gotta let me finish, who bro. Who the fuck got that? But white folks, white? Yeah, I'm saying white, man. Go ahead, go ahead finish the story. Okay. Four year old orders two point six k worth of SpongeBob popsicles shit, on mom's yeah. Amazon account. Here's the kicker: Amazon says it's non refundable. Uh, <laughs> yeah, white. That's a white. Uh, white. Kid. Yeah. All whites? All whites. Yeah, he got the card, no, too. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Come on, now. He got, black. He got his black. mama card? On his Amazon. You know Amazon, you can just swipe. Because when he said You don't got to put your card in. Uh-huh. That's the difference. Yep. Man, but who black left? kids will run up their mama Amazon Black card. kids? Yeah. Fortnite is a mother with He bought 2.3, 2.6K yeah. worth of pop. 918 popsicles. <laughs> it's gonna be a good field day. It's, it's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's, it's gonna, gonna be a good day. summer for that, young <laughs> man. Yeah, is, bro. Look on the story, they say that some he's people. Missing. Yeah, he's gonna get his ass whipped for that, bro. He's black, bro. Hell yeah, yeah. no, nah, that's an ass whipping. He, he could be in rent tomorrow. No, he no spent the you gonna eat all nigga. these damn popsicles? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna eat every one of oh, these they popsicles? Had him on the box. He was eating one on the picture. That's I'm gonna send that home to you. Nah, homie had one on the picture. She would have whooped my ass. And then I'd be selling popsicles at five dollars a piece. Yeah, I they, bought them for a dollar, but they cost five dollars. Exactly. <laughs> the reason they said they couldn't take them back is because it was frozen. They left them on the porch. Ah, that's stupid. Yeah. Wait, you know Amazon? What they gonna do? Take them in your house? <laughs> Niggas are dumb clothes. Yeah. But how, how, nobody knew nothing was coming but the little boy. Man. Well, I know his mama came home. Like, Beat the ass. Fuck? Hey, but look, this is why I say that little nigga shouldn't get too much of an ass beating, though. Why? Because they started a GoFundMe, right? And ended up racking up fifty six hundred dollars. Oh, she, oh. yeah. she won, bro. She lost only 2.6 uh, and won yeah. 5.6. Let that little nigga eat his ice cream in peace. Yeah, let me keep him on. <laughs> nah, man. Nah, he put three bands in the house, bro. Still. He still got to take so that ass So what about next enough. time? <laughs> he still got to take that ass with enough. Nah, let that nigga eat his ice cream in peace, my nigga. 3,000 extra? Because if this had been what? <laughs> 2003, <laughs> nigga? Hey, I got to see receipts on that shit, bro. I got to yeah. see receipts on that shit. Yeah, I'm going to show you that, that shit, That shit kind of fake to me. Yeah. It sound yeah, like they bro. just made some money off some people. And why the fuck I can't get $5,000, $6,000 on my cash out? You got to go viral first. <laughs> man, I've been going viral. Do something more stupider. I'm finna jump out more this stupid. window, man. Hold Shit, on, Mark. Turn the but camera this way. <laughs> 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 I told you this nigga did three Let's weeks of college. <laughs> you taking the wrong classes, my nigga. Yeah. You taking the wrong yeah, classes. I ain't gonna talk you out of that shit. If we going viral for me, jump out, bro. Man. We I, already I, talked I about this last show. Yeah, this I, hey, did we talk about this what, already? What episode yeah. we on? 36? Yeah, 36, 36 okay. bro. So, I gave away $10,000. Now, why the hell can't I get 
five thousand dollars on my cash app. Cause you don't say it every show. Well, okay, what's your cash app, bro? Uh, dollar sign Sancho Lincho. Sancho underscore Lincho. That's me. Nigga, what is you it? tell us a different one every time. Like, you just told me two at one time. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, who are I sending it to? Sancho like, underscore Lincho. Lincho. It's probably on the dollar other sign one. Sancho underscore Lincho. Send me five point six. Whatever you said. Send me two thousand dollars. Not at a time, bro. Nice. It was different people that put the Damn. money in. What I'm just saying. And then he got on this whole demanding. Yeah. yeah. You got to be more nice than what I'm sure they wasn't listen, talking crazy listen, like that. Like, what I'm going to do with the money, I'm just going to put it back into the community. I'm going to buy pop sixes for all the kids out here. Okay. Hey, why are you going to that voice? Well, <laughs> I'm going to put it back into the community. I'm going to buy pop That nigga went to his black philanthropist for real. Niggas. I want y'all to understand I'm doing things. It's for the community. It's not for me. What? Y'all trying to make it sound like I'm being selfish but i'm trying to help the community what? y'all ready for this next one bro yeah. y'all doing bad bro y'all doing bad right now That's it. Man, one look, box of pop last scissors. time i bought sack lunches y'all can play sack this lunches. time them I'm soggy done. ass <laughs> me to be in jail because she was you hanging know, it was turkey. Turkey. don't eat mad it was lunch meat it was lunch meat it was turkey ham wheat bread white whey bread no i'm not even wheat bread you gave you gave him the brown paper sack brown paper yeah. With the smiley face drawn? No. Uh, with the, the greasy bottom. The ingredients is what we talking about. The, the inside greasy. was food. Food? For what, nigga? Food. Yeah, foods. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was some foods in the bag. Foods. It was foo foo. I gave him foo foo. That's why you did this bag. Not the foo foo. Uh, African delight. <laughs> you yeah. took a six and on foo foo. Y'all ate that? Now, foo foo's nah. good, man. I fucks with foo foo. I heard I different views on it. Like, some people, it's just like, uh, they you not. You gotta cook it right. They not fooling with it. And then some people over here, like, oh, it's scrumptious. Okay, did an American cook <laughs> it or did some. Uh, I've never had it. Like, I'm You need an African to cook it. Scrumptious, like a Because Americans can't cook it's fufu. They, they can't get in there with the fufu spoon on the fufu bowl. You hear me? So, I'm good, I'm good. I have a good palate, y'all. I'm willing to try something at least twice yeah. to say I don't like it. If I tried one time, it could have been the person was just a bad cook. Exactly. So I always right. try it yeah. twice. Right. But if that second time, it's just not in my spirit. It's just not in my spirit. It's just not going to go down like that. Nah, I'm good on the food. So right now, y'all all tied, bro. One, and no, I don't I know how many. Y'all got two right, don't I? Nah, you got one right. Yeah. Oh, Nobody's man. got one right since the first question. The easy one. So, <laughs> I don't know if y'all remember Let's or not. Let's go in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> this right, going to be the tiebreaker, bro. It's a tiebreaker. Okay. Whoever get this one right, get it, bro. Okay. A Minnesota woman goes triple OG with 10 chill drops crazy. And drives a SUV through cheating boyfriend's funeral procession. Mexican. Then get out the car screaming, "Now we even, bitch!" Mexican. Now she black. She Minnesota, Indian. Minnesota, <laughs> she Native she American. Says. Native American. <laughs> Out top. I like this game, bro. I like the stereotypes, bro. I'm just saying, up in Minnesota, in Minnesota, you got it's only of, like ten ruthless, black so people, okay. so we ruthless. That makes <laughs> yeah. kind of, who you got? Uh, I'm gonna say Mexican. Ain't that where Prince was from? Yep. Yeah. Minneapolis. I'm black. I'm saying black, man. She black. She for the black. win. Because she put the bitch on. Oh, man. I thought she was going to take it home and win it for it, dude. White. Oh. White. White. Well, there ain't many black people up though. there, though. White. Well, can we have a tiebreaker then? Because we still got to win, bro. And they have a question, She can be my friend. Hey, if you niggas want to lose, fuck it. Y'all niggas lost. He ain't got no explanation. Just fuck it. Yeah, y'all niggas lost. Hey, it's a three way tie. Right, so all y'all so we won, all bro. losers or we all winners? Y'all choose that. Y'all get we in the little huddle and choose that shit. <laughs> Group text each other shit. Paper, rock, scissors, nigga. <laughs> but not that again. Yeah. Look, I think. We don't get a bonus question. That's, that was the bonus question. That was the bonus question. That nigga come prepared with one bonus question. That's it. So I should have known that. one bonus question, bro. should have known that. What? It ain't that many black people in Minnesota. Mm-hmm. You know That's what I'm saying? That's why I said See, I threw y'all off. It's that first easy it's question. It fuck y'all head up, bro. I heard the teardrop eyes. I was like, yeah, she, she about yeah. to go, about to go. Yeah, that's the type of crazy she went. About to go, Ten teardrop, OG, triple OG, crazy. Yeah. I'll get y'all next time. I'm gonna win next time. <laughs> you sound like the evil villain. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you guys next time. Yeah. yeah. You got meddling kids. Put Last show, I said I was gonna, you know, make a segment called the Nigga Network. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's supposed to discuss all of the shit that I feel like don't go across the Nigga Network. Yeah. It's like you see the white people talking about it, you see the Chinese people talking about it, you see the Indians talking about it, mm -hmm. you see the lesbians talking about it, you see the homosexuals talking about it. Everybody's talking about it. Some of those it. groups can oh, be together. This is though. Deep. What is this? Right. Yeah, what are you talking about? Right. <laughs> I mean, Whoa. situations that people talk about that it just don't come across the nigga network. Today, okay. You know what I mean? I'm scared. 
this one, this is my personal advice to everybody out there that's listening, bro. All right, come on. PP loan, PP loans. Stop what that again. PP. <laughs> what kind of loans? PPP loans. <laughs> or not for Dose Bunny and Hennessy shots, Dracos and SRTs. It's actually a way to get your business off the ground, bro. Use this tool wisely. It is correct. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's to pay your Y'all employees. Smell like Negro yeah. Dumbass around this bitch now, bro. I'm talking jewels. I wish I could get one, but I ain't got yeah. one. I'm I getting just want it out the mud and the concrete two. right yeah. now. Exactly. I just want people to take it serious, bro. If you're going to get one of those, yeah. you do, do the right thing with it. Yeah, but people, black people don't ever do the right thing. Well, that's why I'm trying to put it There's on the nigga like network. Said that. On the nigga yeah. network, it's cool to do the right thing. Okay. You feel me? I'm it's cool to do the right thing. Get your business straight. Use that money to do what you're supposed to do, bro. Right. Well, don't you don't have a business. Shine. Well, then you fucking up. Why you even got the loan then? For real. Anybody can start a business. There's a lot of people that got the loan and don't even have a business. But what I'm saying is I seen a nigga in Vegas, not this last time, but the time before that said, kick me in my nuts for $10. What? That's a business. What? what? If you can't start a business, then that nigga can start a business, letting you kick him in the nuts for $10? Yeah. I see the nigga selling water. I yesterday. am my business. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Everybody got a business. Part. There you go. Everybody got a business. We got I'm good, just trying to make it everybody else's interview. business to know my business. Yeah. <laughs> that part. And that's a perfect segue to what we got going on then. Mm-hmm. Why don't you tell them a little bit something about yourself, man? Let them know who we got behind this camera right fast. All right. Well, my name is I Am Just Nika. It is a business. I just got my DBA last hey, week. Uh-oh. Turn up. I ain't playing with Drop a ball for us, man. Hey. Congratulations. That's yeah. all the way. What's up? So, yes. okay. I noticed that you say you do some comedy work, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, as a comedian. You do some model work, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You pretty much got your hands on a lot of different things. Man. I do. I'm even featured on a track right now. There you go. Hey. Uh, artist. Hey. Add artist to the list. I was inspired to be on the track with Well, I don't call myself an artist. Mm-hmm. I'm a hype girl, like, to the utmost. I'm always people's biggest fan if I fool with your music. Max. Like, that's just what it is. Yeah. You gonna turn it up then. I'm gonna mm-hmm. turn that... Up, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, 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 All right. Yeah. And I'm going to bring some girls with me, too, that like to do the same thing that I do. Nice. Hey, y'all better be listening to this show. She already told you where it's at, for yeah, real. Yeah, I got a comedy show tonight after I leave here. Oh, that's what's up. Put them on. Put the game yeah, on, too. Yeah, yeah, shout yeah, out too. to uh, Anastasia the Bold. And shout out to LOA Rooster. Yeah, he's performing tonight. He's going to oh, be an artist be there. Okay, okay. It's um, at Alexander's um, Mexican restaurant at the Sterling Hotel tonight. At Turn, up. Okay. Turn up. Turn okay. up. Yeah. So, so make sure y'all go through there and fuck with her tonight. You know what I'm saying? On the real or real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's the track you got called that you featured on? Uh, it's called Pocket Watching. It's Pocket uh, Watching. a new up and coming artist out of uh, Pleasant Grove. His hey, name's Millie. Okay, yeah. okay. Now y'all got on there and vibed out. So how was it like getting in the studio? Is this something that you always do? No, I haven't done anything like this since I was like 14 years old. Oh, okay. okay. So you can give, give your feedback <laughs> way. Get back yeah, out there. Like, yeah. I used to be like I used to be a basketball player. So okay. I used to just be up there with my headphones on before uh-huh. I had to go play basketball and yeah. play around. And some of my friends, they was like, yo, you should you should do something right, with this. Yeah, and I yeah. was like, I don't want to do nothing with that. I just like writing stuff that rhyme. That's yeah. it. Yeah. But where I'm at now is my kids like are my everything. So mm-hmm. my son will graduate high school in four years. Congratulations on that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've been on his butt yeah. for real because I'm glad that he ain't out here gangbanging. He ain't on the streets. He yeah, just yeah. focused. Yeah. We all for education. Yeah, and my daughters, they watching me too. They're young. So yeah. I want my kids to look up to me. I don't okay. want them to look up to everybody else. Exactly. Yeah. So, who are some of your influences in the model game? Oh, Iman. Mm, yeah. I love Iman because she yeah. can switch it up and she can look any way. Right. But she can also cross over. Exactly. That, that's how I'm trying to be. I want to be able to do everything, but keep it classy. Yeah. Yeah. How long you been modeling? Um, I just got back into modeling, believe it or not, okay. in March. But I used to model back in my early twenties for a little small company called Classy Sassy Model okay. Models. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. um, I also Classy and to, Sassy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I also did a little hype work for Club Medusa. Yeah, Medusa. And uh, Club Taj down by um, what was that? The college, city, uh, city central. Oh, already. Oh, okay. No, El Centro. El, El Centro. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It used to be a little small club down yeah. there, so I used to go in there. I used to turn them up all yeah. the time. Okay. That's what that is. And hey, that's some for real shit. Sound like you know what I'm saying? You're a woman that got a lot of your hands on a lot of plates. Oh, I do yeah. now. Exactly. It's, I've helped a whole bunch of women re-raise their their sons. Right. And where I'm at in life now, I'm not doing it no more. I got a son to raise. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just focused on him. I'm focused on getting my brand off the ground because by September, I want people to know my name without me saying it. Exactly. Yeah. And I like the way to, I like yeah, the sound yeah. of that. Ambition. Ambition. Oh, there's no <laughs> ambition. Yeah. I'm going to hit y'all with a banger next month. I'm just trying to keep it quiet right now. Mm. I, that's <laughs> the way you do it. But that's <laughs> how you do question. it. As a female in the game and you putting it down and doing your thing, do you ever run into any opposition? 
competition by you just being a female? Yes. I actually just ran into that. I actually had an altercation because of it. Right. I, speaking of what you was talking about earlier, I ran into a situation where polygamy was something I had never knew anything about. Right. I come from a really small town, so it's like okay. when you see something, you've seen everything. Yeah, yeah, right. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had never walked into that. And nowadays, it's just hard for me to fight and just say that I'm an alpha female. Like, I know I'm independent and I'm strong, but I know I still need a man on my side. Mm -hmm. Period. Not mm -hmm. a woman. Nothing against it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nothing against it. But I'm telling you, like, when I first, like, People started really following me and stuff like that. It became a big thing. Like, I had more women in my inbox than men. Mm -hmm. Really trying to get me to be down with their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this is what the world is coming to Man. now. It's my oh, the world's past that. <laughs> 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 they took that point and passed it. It ain't coming to it. That's what the world is. Right now. <laughs> but, I mean, like I said, I feel like I'm, I'm like someone out here that's heterosexual, I mean, that's homosexual. I feel like I'm somebody out here that's transgender. Yeah. I'm making a statement that, yes, I know that I'm a strong female, right. but I don't think I'm too strong to the point that I can't learn from no man. Mm -hmm. I will never say that. Yeah, yeah. I will never take discredit a man and be like, nah, we can't do nothing because your money ain't like mine. Right. Nah, yeah, it ain't yeah, like yeah. that. It's yeah. what type of ambition do you have? What type of dream do you have? Because that can make you money in itself. Like right mm -hmm. now, I'm solely funding yeah. I am just me. Everything, yeah. Everything. So I had to start from and the bottom. From the scratch, yeah. I had to be willing to take no's. Mm -hmm. I had to be willing to do things for free. Right. All of that just to get people to know who I am, where I could even just sit right here right now. Exactly. Right. So I be humble. When I tell you, if you people ask me all the time, like, what do you have to do to get people to like you? Be yourself. Yeah. If you a right. really humble individual, mm -hmm. it's, gonna it's gonna show. Work out for you. Because if you not, that's gonna show too. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Did the, uh, pan the pandemic slow your You'll slow your roll down there? Oh, anyway? actually, the pandemic beasted me up. Yeah. Because I had a lot more time. See, Gave I, you more time. As mm -hmm. a mother, a yeah. single, well, I don't call myself a single mother because my kid's father is very much so in their lives. Oh, well, now you ain't no single yeah. mother. Even no. if y'all ain't together, yeah. yeah. No, like, he probably wasn't the best husband. A lot of people said we should have stayed friends, but we co-parent really well. Right, yeah. And he is a great father to them. Mm -hmm. Great mentor to them. Yeah, right. But, like... When the pandemic happened, I was a teacher at the time right, when sure, the pandemic okay. happened. So I was a substitute teacher. I was battling cancer in 2018. Oh, man. And I got over that. So when they brought me back. Congratulations on that. Yeah, for thank real. you. Peace to that, yes. No, when um, I was battling that and when I came back, they only let me work like as a substitute. They didn't let me come back full time because they wanted to make sure it wasn't too much. Right. Because I work with nine through 12 special ed kids. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a job. Exactly. That's <laughs> a job in itself. You yeah, know sure. what I mean? And What's then up? I had the kids that were the behavioral kids. To me, in my opinion, there was nothing wrong with them mentally. They were just misunderstood. Okay. And so they looked at me like I was big sister because I was close in their age exactly. and stuff like no, that. Yeah. And I'm going to give it to them raw and I'll cut and let them know, hey, it's not fly trying to catch a girlfriend in nope. high school when you're 22. Mm -hmm. It's just not fly at all. Bro. Right. Yeah. So, look, I got a question for you. What are some What are some of your biggest misconceptions of being a model that you think the world look at? Oh, that we prostituting out here, man. Like, we <laughs> yeah. sleeping to get up, up That's the freaky-ass old niggas, man. That's just how they be. <laughs> so, <laughs> the niggas is freaky, freaky. You Ooh, hear me? When I tell you my inbox yeah. overnight, I had one guy hit me up one time. He was like, I had a dream about you last night. Hey. I was like, you did? He mm. said, yeah. Martin Luther King. But I want to yeah, respect you. A dream. So I'm not going to say anything. But it was hot. I was Ooh. like... Yeah, keep that to yourself. Uh, yeah, for <laughs> fam, trip. The fact that you respond to your DMs is, is wild. No, yeah, most people don't pay attention to that. But shit. the reason why I respond, I respond to my DMs because I was in a business meeting and something was really pointed out to me. Oh, okay. You have three people that you look for when you're doing social media. You have fans, right? Mm -hmm. You have supporters, right? And you have followers. Those people that do me like that are my fans, yeah. so I don't turn them down mm -hmm. only because. My fans got fans, and my fans got fans. And they gonna grow like a fire. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not ever gonna be rude to someone. There's no ring on my finger, so who am I to stop you from shooting your shot? Right. It just might not be good enough for me. Mm, that exactly. Brick. Brick. Yeah, off the rim. <laughs> <laughs> he scores. <laughs> I know what I don't want. Brick. Exactly. I'm waiting yeah. on somebody to show me something I need. Yeah. Right. Turn up. I don't know if y'all follow uh, Ace Metaphor, but I follow him a lot. Uh, like just to see the man side of the perspective of what they think in relationships and one thing that he pointed out to me was that 
women don't remember to look for love and they always just looking for somebody to tell them that they love them. Mm -hmm. See, I still have my grandfather. I still have my father. I got two brothers and I got a son. I have plenty of men right. in love, my life love tell me side. every day that they love me. So yeah. I don't need that validation. What else you got? Mm -hmm. Right. And that okay. throw a lot of a lot of their perspective. I hope y'all so, listening to this. They're they, spitting them jewels of that out there. <laughs> <laughs> but when they get in my DM, they're like, girl, I got this and I do this. And I'm like, that's cool. And I got that too. Mm. You just don't know that because you talking about you. You ain't asking. Asking that. where that rocket yeah. at? If they, if they really yeah, that's what everybody <laughs> needs to know. Yeah. Hey, but, but, but if no, they, they that, let me ask you this then. Uh, let me ask you this. So, if you was the man, how would you how would you shoot your shot at you? What would you trying say? Trying to get, give me the gas them up. Right. You're trying to get, <laughs> hey, yo. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, he put hey, the yo, cheat code out there. Yeah. He trying to put the cheat code out there. What are niggas supposed to say? What are niggas supposed to say? Niggas said, I'm hitting the Well, first of all, write it down. Something about me. I hate when a man hate beautiful me or hate sexy me. To me, that is the most cliche response you can give a mm -hmm. woman because that actually happened to me. I actually bit off of that one time. A mm -hmm. dude hit me up and he's like, hey, beautiful, I want you to tell me if there was someone in your past that you could bring back, who would it be and why? Ooh, that nigga turned into Malcolm X. Yeah, and I'm intellectual. He got yeah. he on yeah. pro level game. And I'm intellectual, so I was immediately <laughs> intrigued, and I was like, no man has ever come at me and asked me a question with a hey sexy. It was just I was a hey sexy. Yeah, yeah, yeah stop that, short. That, yeah, that, that, that. and he asked me a question like that, so I hit him with a response, and I was like, my Angelou. And he was like, oh, why my Angelou? I said, because I would love to pick her brain. Mm -hmm. Who wouldn't? Like, right. have you heard any of her poetry? Right. I would love to pick her brain. Like, where right. was that coming from? Mm -hmm. Right. And so we actually hit it off and dated for a while. And I went out of town, and I met up with one of my homegirls. And me and him, we were staying in a hotel room, and we were arguing. And she came to check on me, and she told me to shut up. She said, girl, shut up and listen to this man. Quit cutting him off. She don't even realize she changed my life after that because yeah. I used to be that woman that want to sit back and caddy with you. I want to what? Yeah. What? Every time you say something. Yeah, yeah, and she yeah. told me, she was like, shut up. Because a lot of women don't understand if you shut up, the man is telling you how he really feels. You just ain't listening. Mm -hmm. so, the, the argument will stop because he was like, I don't love you. I don't want to be with you. I've been telling you this. You don't want to listen. And she she was like, why you didn't listen to that a long time ago? Like yeah, you could have yeah. walked away from this. Yeah. She took me to a bar sat me in her car. She said, the reason why I wanted you to listen to him is because something triggered in my head that he sent me that same response two years ago. Mm. He didn't mean that for you. He meant that to see who was going to bite on something that he said and you right. did. Ooh. And when niggas Ooh, use something that's like, successful, they bringing it back. <laughs> 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 hey, that's hey, the playbook? Man, I'm going to go man. ahead and break the G code and tell you, man, if, it's, if it oh, worked man. once, it'll work me twice. Me and her still cool to this <laughs> day. Shout out, out to Toy Thacker. Yeah, yeah, my yeah, best friend, my best friend. Shout out to Toy. Shout out to Kokomo. Shout out to Big Clint Morris. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here right now. Exactly. Big bro. What up, Big Big homie. We got, what, 10 minutes left? Okay. Uh, what you working on right now? Or as a matter of fact, tell me, tell tell everybody that's watching some of the things you've been worked on. Okay. Uh, I've done a few photo shoots here mm -hmm. in the past couple of months. Right. If you go on my Facebook, that's Anika Wright, or you can look me up under I am Just Nika on Facebook. Okay. You can look me up on Snapchat at Just Nika, mm -hmm. Instagram at Just Nika 07. Mm -hmm. I just got me a Twitter. I just got me a hey, Tumblr. Y'all, I'm telling you, I'm turning it into a business. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. anywhere you go, I I'm am up. Just Nika about to be there, okay? There I go. promise you there that. There you go. Yeah. But nah, like I said, I'm really motivated and. Stay tuned with me because next month, like mm -hmm. I said, I just shouted out Kokomo. Yeah. He blessed me on game with right. some and laced yeah. me up. So I'm going to hit y'all with yeah. a stunner. Yeah. Exactly. Well, that That's is, my birthday month. I'm yeah. turning up. Hey. Exactly. For sure. And, uh, you know, not knowing you that long, you know what I'm saying, just not getting to meet you, you got that energy. You of got course. like a fireball yeah. in you. Yeah. And I think that's going to take you somewhere, man. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not even mm -hmm. think I know it is. I, sure. I just don't want to come across like that to you. No, you know what I'm I saying? Take yeah. I know it's going to go somewhere for I you. I take our hate too. Yeah. Exactly. All my hate. Well, so, out of all the things you do, out of all your talents, what's your one true love? What's your first love? I'm a writer. Writer? Yeah, okay. I'm writing a book right now called Change and Shackled. I've been writing this since 2015. Okay. It's about the male perspective because nobody ever writes about how the man gets out of prison and changes his life. We always mm -hmm. write about how he get out and go back in. Right. The other so half of the story. So, that's time we know the other half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. The success Correct. instead of the yeah. downfall. But well, you know, you get a lot of that in this world. You know what I'm saying? It's not everybody want to see you win. Right. Yeah, my father's very successful. And he did 13 years in the pen. Mm. Okay. So let me, yeah, let me ask you story. this. What would you tell a young model that's trying to get in the game right now of like some lessons that you learned? Like what would be the most important thing she need to know coming into modeling? Now, what Stop would you, listening. What would you go back and tell yourself 
at that age. What age you just say? Yeah, when you getting started. Like Stop when you started doing everybody. it. Yeah. Everybody not your friend, like Mo3 said. Hey, for, for real, sure for real. Yeah. As soon as I came back out into the game, I had a black eye because I was trying to trust my friend. Mm. And I found out my friend was phony. Yeah. Yeah, trust to get like you that. fucked. Boosie said friends. it. One day this, like this harder might go get me killed. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> It'd be Same. like that, but for it was sure. definitely a lesson learned, I believe, on both parties. Like right. I have no love lost between them. I wish them the utmost success in mm -hmm. life, just like I'm pretty sure they do me. Right. But they definitely taught some good lessons mm -hmm. and they taught me some bad ones. And I appreciate up front <laughs> right. yeah. for learning the bad ones. Yeah. But before yeah, we get yeah. out of here though, you need to let everybody know. Just in case anybody want a model, they want them to write some uh, uh, anything on some uh, appearance, anything. Mm -hmm. How they can contact you and get a hold of you in case they need, in case they need to holler at you. Oh yeah, let well, them know. Y'all definitely can hit me up. My email is I am just Nika at gmail dot com, mm -hmm. or you can hit me up at Anika Roberts oh seven at gmail dot com. I just shouted out all my social medias. Facebook is my main one because I have like the majority of my followers on okay, Facebook. Yeah, I've got yeah, almost yeah. over 4,000 followers on Facebook. That's what it is. That's so lit right there. I go live consistently on my Facebook, y'all. So What's tune up? in because I'm a foodie too. So me exactly. and my brothers, we go uh, okay. out, we we check out restaurants, we give good reviews. So if yeah. you got a restaurant, you black on, shoot mm -hmm. me your information, I'll come meet at your spot, no problem. Hey. You got some clothes you want me to wear, some makeup exactly. you want me to try, I yeah. got you, boo. That's what's up. I want to suggest a restaurant already off top Ooh. that I just ran into, Breakfast Daddies, or Breakfast Brothers, That's over there on Matlock. Oh, yeah? Oh, some good uh, shit, man. Yeah. It's like a New Orleans-style restaurant, mm -hmm. but they cook the breakfast like the, the chicken with the waffles, red velvet waffles, put the shrimp mm -hmm. in the... Catfish with the breakfast. I don't like shrimp. Oh my goodness. Yeah. The omelets, wow. all of that shit is <laughs> black on. Yeah? yeah. So I'm gonna put them out there, man. I think uh And shout out to Big Time Bakery too, bro. Where is it? Right though, man, like across the street. You been from getting her. drunk up there a lot, ain't you? Yeah, man. At lunch. Been full yeah, lunch, what you <laughs> say? Well, if y'all wanna take y'all mom there out tomorrow and she like Italian food, it's yeah. a nice place in Dallas, like borderline Dallas and Irvine is called Bellini's. Okay. Like inside there, she'll feel like she in Italy for real. Hey, it's real okay. nice. That's that shit yeah. that she need to be it's out. Real nice. <laughs> yeah. And the, the owner actually comes out and greets all of his I guests. I think we're going cage. His name's Lorenzo. He's really, really nice. Oh, that's really me. Nice. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> this nigga pull up. This nigga come out the back with a It's not him. He's like to make the food. Like, cause we just fucked it up for them. If it's him, I ain't going. Yeah. Yeah. You know Italians, they love us black hey. Yeah. Yeah, I got this on Lorenzo, though. It's me. It's, it's my restaurant. Is this nigga in the back with the apron? <laughs> nah, I'm done. I'm dead. I'm like, like, come on. Yeah. It's time to eat, though. Come on. <laughs> come and eat. <laughs> What the fuck is Chef hat on and shit? Yeah, Wait, no Steven Seagal to come up in there. No beat, that Steven Steven, beat that hat off you. <laughs> this nigga ain't gonna ease up on Steven Seagal, Paul. Hey, what in the rider hat, bro? He ain't even pop in today. Uh, oh, my bad. Uh, tell him where you gonna be at tonight again. Yes, I'm going to be at Alexander's Mexican Restaurant. It's off of Regal Row in Dallas. Okay, triple It's D. at the Sterling Hotel at 8 o'clock. Okay. Who gonna be there with you? My bad. Uh, uh, my my uh see the CEO over Choice Chicks. Mm -hmm. I'm actually her um, recruiter and her manager there over the Choice Chicks. There you go. So if y'all are interested in becoming a model, come see me tonight. Let mm -hmm. me let me get some measurements. Let me get some comp cards. See what mm -hmm. you talking about. You talking um, to see. Yeah. Hey, do y'all accept belly gang niggas? We only Tomorrow? take women. They call, oh, okay. They call choice I'm just, chick. Okay, yeah. Wow, I'm, wow. You know, I'm just checking it out, bro. I'm hey, about you, to get into modeling, bro. He's just his dreams. But what you can see is, that's how they felt inside that noise he was making. Yeah. Have you I almost dropped a tear, bro. <laughs> nah, I mean, have you considered uh, modeling men? A uh, party, like you got the chicks and the dudes? Oh, that's going to be hard to deal with. Well, once I have my own agency, yes. Okay. But with her right now, no, she's strictly doing just females. Uh, okay. When y'all open it up for belly gang, let me know. Yeah. We're not discriminating. Hey, you know, I used to be a comedian, too, though. You know, I did a few comedian shows. You got a joke for us before we leave? This nah, nigga funny, nah nigga. no free shit. I don't give away no free What's that white nose, bro? <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> what was that, bro? Hold on, rewind that shit. Oh. Can't do nothing around here. Pulling up blue moves. I was like, I don't do that shit, dog. Nah. Nose Wipe his nose, dog. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking, bro. Off him. Yeah. 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 You see that? Hey, hey. when you ask for free shit, you got to go, bro. Hey, That's man. curtains right there. That's a little too free for me, bro. It's all right. Hell no. And I see you in the comments, boy. You say you were supposed to take me there. Yeah, I'm going to take you there to Breakfast Brothers. 
to Breakfast oh, Brothers. Yeah, we're gonna eat good uh, tomorrow. Lorenzo's. Tomorrow morning, not Lorenzo. Come to my restaurant. We don't eat there. <laughs> we're against. We're not <laughs> against <laughs> Lorenzo. We're just against Lorenzo. <laughs> but we don't love those thugs. <laughs> you say Lorenzo, we don't know who popping <laughs> yeah. out the back. For real. Yeah. No, that's Ain't what no I telling. said when he came from the back. I said, "What's his name?" They said Lorenzo. I said, "Ooh, Lorenzo. Lorenzo. I feel safe." Yeah. 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 <laughs> Look, I could. I, I Was he could. Italian? Yeah. yeah. An Italian name Lorenzo? His name's Lorenzo. Holly, you looking nervous? No, black Italian. Nah, yeah. She said Italian, not Dominican. Nigga. Said Dominican. Not Dominican. Nigga. Costa Rica. He had the long he curly said Costa hair. Rica. Oh, yeah. He was running shit in there. Yeah. I was oh, like, man. I'm, I'm gonna go with you back to Italy yeah. when you when you leave. And he told me, Yeah, you and your friend. I said, Yeah. We can and leave I'm gonna today. let you put me Bobados. on your book like that. Yeah. 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 He talking about uh, Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> it's similar. It ain't this. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, turn the fuck up, man. Go Dallas Cowboys. Y'all did a motherfucking great draft, bro. Yeah. The yeah. Dallas defense will be strong this year, bro. I'm riding or dying with my team. I got a in, rid of injured ass Sean Lee. Oh, he retired, bro. Come That's on, you bring up old shit. If you don't bring up old shit, bring up the <laughs> Super Bowls, said, man. So, so, you know what? That means uh, by the time, you know, camp come, we need to get Larry Jones back up here. Yeah, we'll get him back up here. Okay. Uh, but let me tell you some throw shit. I tricked my, job, uh, my boss at Jobbins. <laughs> my boss at the job into some shit, right? Okay. I Say told him right, if the Cowboys <laughs> slow down, <laughs> slow down. <laughs> it's the drink, bro. Together. It's the moonshine, man. Yeah. <laughs> I tricked my boss, right? Mm -hmm. I asked him if the Cowboys win a Super Bowl, can I have a day off to go to the parade? He said, if the Cowboys win a Super Bowl, I get to go to the parade, bro. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be at work, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? Like, no, like, I just know we're going to do talking about the uh, like Sacramento yeah. uh, uh, Cowboy <laughs> A League or something. Yeah. It could be any yeah. Cowboys. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, y'all talking about Oklahoma fans. State nah, Cowboys? Dallas Cowboys, bro. When we nah, win the Dallas Super Bowl, I'll be in the parade, bro. Okay. We're going to win this year, man. Like, and we're going to be live on the Bridges and Bank Rose Podcast Network, goddamn. From the Super Bowl or from the parade? From the parade, nigga. I ain't going to the Super Bowl. Too much COVID, bro. Mm. I guess that's a bad excuse if you go to a parade. Yeah, you go to the you parade. You go to the parade. Well, God, damn it. <laughs> I just don't got money for the flight, guys. <laughs> just, just tell them. Just tell them too, bro. The parade in Dallas. The Super Bowl somewhere yeah, else. Yeah. I'll just go Uber there. Nigga. Nah, man, Oprah got us, bro. If we go, if we're going to the game, we good. Oh, yeah, she's going to take care of us. Who? Oprah. Oprah. Yeah, he got a personal. <laughs> he, he supposedly, allegedly, let's put that out there before we get sued. <laughs> got on. a relationship with Oprah. We're not going to get sued. Oh, Me and Oprah cool. She got us. Ha! Give him my card. But okay, no, I got you. They got bad water in between them. He said he was on Instagram and he he didn't know he was walking backwards and he I caught her taking a the shit. I the big house I was in. I'm How like, this Oprah and shit, He didn't say he didn't know he caught her on the phone. And she was taking the shit and got mad. At all the things you're going to say about Oprah Winfrey. Shut hey, up, Hey, I'm just telling the truth. Some Man. things you can't, you can't <laughs> make shit Oprah. up like that. Oprah shit? Not the, she not shit? The you get a car, you get a car, you get a car, Oprah. Yeah, Oprah oh. Winfrey. Okay, how many Oprahs you know? <laughs> Oprah Gumbo. You Can know. I ask you a special you question? You know there's always somebody going to name their kid after somebody. It, it's funny. Not, not Oprah, Oprah though. Heard that though. Not Oprah. Poor shit. I got a question for you about Oprah, man, if okay. you don't mind asking. Yeah, she shits like everybody else. What? <laughs> Does her pussy smell like perfume? Oh, oh, I can't oh tell it's time to go. Yeah, we got to go. And that's I, it right there. We just blew the sponsorship. Let's get out. Yeah, that's it. We'll see y'all next week. Maybe. Let's <laughs> we'll show underscore. You know what I'm saying? Let's show, man. And we out this bitch. Bridges and Bank Rose, the most dangerous podcast ever. What? Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. Shut up, fool.